Here we have Blackjack from the G2 Minister Combiner Wars set. He's the same as the previous release except now in G2 colors. He is molded in purple and blue to match the G2 Motor Master colors. This comes with this big axe type weapon which looks pretty neat. Lots of details on that one. He has a lot of great looking details on this small figure. The G2 symbol is on his right shoulder. Some of the proportions are, look a little off, as the thighs and forearms are quite skinny and the chest plate is quite thick. There is this weird little gap in the abs. The feet also look a bit small. The backpack is quite small, which is pretty awesome. There's not too much to see on the back. Uh, the legs are a little bit hollow. And a big G2 symbol on the backpack. One great thing about this figure is that it doesn't have a lot of kibble and it makes good use of the car parts. Articulation wise, the head can turn all the way around but cannot look up or down. The arms can spin all the way around and outwards at 90. Uh, the wheels kind of get in the way. The elbows bend at 90 and can swivel around. There's no torso twist. The legs go forward about 100 degrees, but it's blocked going backwards by the backpack. You can bend the knees at 90, and you can twist at the knees as they are ball joints. There's no articulation on the feet as they are molded right into the leg. All right, size comparison time. Here he is next to a bunch of other Transformers. He is pretty small. Let's get him transformed. Here he is in car mode, and it looks pretty fantastic. The, the blue is a little bright for my taste, but still looks great. He's supposed to represent the Motormaster's roller car that he had in the G1 toy. There's a small G2 symbol on the hood. Looking at this car, it looks like it has posts for a spoiler, but there's no spoiler there. The molded lines on this car make it look really aggressive. That's great for a Decepticon. There's nothing on the bottom. Hmm. You can use this axe weapon as the spoiler. It fits right on there, and it becomes a pretty giant spoiler with a cannon attached to it. It looks kind of like a Rodimus spoiler, because in the V shape. looks pretty sci-fi. You can put it on sideways. That looks just really strange. Alright. Size comparison time. Let's get them next to some actual cars. And he is very, very small. I'm not too sure what size scale he's supposed to be. Maybe Smurfs drive this little car. Please check out my G2 Minosaur review and other figures in the G2 Minosaur series. That's it for now. See you next time.